Are we ready to create the uh, report to go along with the form? Hi, right, it's Doug. And yeah, let's uh, take care of this because uh, while you might have a form and collecting all this data, you still have to create a report so that you get some value out of uh, Wofu here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you're looking at the report manager. Uh, right now I've got a uh, report that I've already set up for this instructor's uh, contact information and when uh, the information is submitted I can generate and utilize the report that I've created here. But we're going to create a brand new report so I go over here and click on the new report button that will populate this window here. Uh, we're going to call this uh, report uh, TV ratings because people are going to be uh, putting information and clicking uh, the choices provided uh, when they're looking at my website or blog and have an opportunity to evaluate my internet TV channel that will be playing. Uh, since this is just for my own uh, interest and all, I'm not going to put any report description in uh, in this uh, blank field here, but you may want to do that for uh, other reports that you're preparing. Uh, paragraph 2, uh, I was first confused uh, as I was looking, well, where the heck is the uh, form that I was working on to create my other report? You need to look in this uh, smaller dialog box down here and click on the little down arrow. and It will show uh, the other form that I created called TV Rating. When I click on that and highlight it, you'll notice that in uh, paragraph 2 here, the columns d that you are uh, got on your report or from your form will be uh, populated. And right now, they're showing that uh, show all the uh, columns. Well, I really don't need them. Uh, I just want to have the ones that uh, have the various choices. And I'm clicking those boxes, uh, everything from this is a really TV, uh, really stupid TV show to an Emmy Award winning uh, production. Uh, also, and I haven't gotten into the more details, but if you wanted to use your form to actually take registration, collect uh, fees, and so forth, there is a means to uh, set that up. And one of the automatic uh, fields or columns is whether or not uh, people have paid for their information, if they paid in total, and so forth. Uh, if you want to collect information on uh, uh, who the form was created by, the date it was created, updated by, date updated, as well as the IP address that the uh, submission came from. I'm going to keep mine uh, very simple here and just uh, collect the information of the choices that the uh, uh, people uh, clicked on there. So I'll click the uh, Save the uh, Report button here. And I have just created a report called TV Ratings. Why don't we take a quick look at it to see what the information is? And obviously, it has very little, it has no information other than the column headings, uh, starting with the lowest scale. Uh, this is a really stupid uh, TV show to an Emmy Award winning broadcast. And as the ratings start coming in, uh, this field below the header will start to be populated uh, in, with the uh, choices that uh, people are making. So uh, once I go to the trouble to uh, uh, copy the uh, hypertext, excuse me, the uh, code necessary, I'll Im embed it in my blog and my website. So that's all there is to it as far as creating uh, the report. One of the nice features is that uh, you don't have to do anything. You can just leave your information there uh, on this database at Wofu. But I think most of us from time to time will want to uh, export the information. And if you carefully manage uh, the forms as well as the reports that you set up there, uh, adding and deleting uh, the forms as well as the reports as soon as you have a need as well as when you stop having a need, you can uh, get a lot of free service by keeping it under the uh, three form limit as well as the 100 entries. Uh, I uh, asked Wofu uh, myself uh, because they only charge you on an entry if it happens to stay on their servers uh, for 24 hours or longer. So if you're very careful and say uh, once a day, every day, uh, remove the information uh, that has been submitted before that 24-hour clock comes around, then you would avoid having that entry counted against your free information. So it may be more work than is required and if you have the budget, but in my case, uh, I needed to do things as inexpensively as uh, possible, so I was very careful to uh, both remove form and reports as well as the contents uh, periodically to avoid getting any charges. So that's how you can uh, use the uh, uh, form and report uh, mechanism here. Uh, I think we might have enough for just one more broadcast, so thanks for sticking around so long, and uh, that's it for now.